Hi, this is Preston with Go Engineer, bringing you another quick tip, hopefully to help you save some steps in reusing or modifying elements of your design. Now we've all used reference planes, which are very powerful tools in bringing sketches and or features exactly where we want them to go in SolidWorks. Now if you've ever right-clicked your reference plane in the graphics view or here in the feature tree, you may notice two very similar looking icons. The first is called Flip Normal, and the second is Normal 2. Now, most of us are familiar with the second icon, Normal 2. It rotates our model to whatever planar face, plane, or 2D sketch we have selected. The lesser known of the two is called Flip Normal. Now, Flip Normal, simply put, flips a plane to its opposite side. And that will make a little bit more sense in just a second. Take note of the design I'm working with. I have a very simple one millimeter extrusion with an emboss on the front with some text and an emboss on the back to indicate what we're looking at. Now let's look at the reference plane that I've inserted here. The name of the plane is plane 1 and that's in the top left corner of the plane. I created this off of the front plane so this is obviously going to be the front of my plane. The color is also a nice light blue by default. And on plane one, I've sketched some simple lines and arcs in the shape of an R. And I've done this because an R, when we're looking at it, is very left to right specific. We know when it's backwards. Now let's rotate the plane to the back. Not surprisingly, our R is now backwards, at least while we're looking at it. The name of our plane, plane 1, is now in the top right corner, when previously it was in the top left. The color is also darker. SolidWorks is trying to indicate to us that this is the back of the plane, or the secondary normal. Now let's rotate back to the front, and let's use the flip normal command. Now you'll see that we're looking, technically, at the back of the plane. And this is what the flip normal command does. Think of it like a piece of paper. You make your sketch on the front of the piece of paper, and now that is the front. When you flip it to the back and hold it up to a light, now that sketch is technically backwards. Now the flip normal only happens across the vertical axis, not the horizontal. For that, you'd probably want to use a mirror feature in the sketch or the feature. But the flip normal command it's useful, let's say if you're embossing something on a part, and now it needs to go on the opposite side, but still have the same orientation. This works with other sketches as well, and other sketch elements. Now this works even if the feature is created from the sketch, and we flip the normal of it to be used on the other side or in the opposite direction. Now this can be used in a couple very specific situations, such as what I mentioned earlier, you're flipping a left to right sketch on opposite sides of your design, or whatever you were designing on that plane now needs to be the opposite. This video is more meant to show the capability of the flip normal command and help clear up some confusion about its function, not necessarily to provide a perfect use case scenario. This has been Preston with Go Engineer, bringing you a quick tip. Happy designing.